Station Gainesville is an exciting opportunity for us and our community. It's where we've had the private and public sectors come together, a lot of the businesses and everyone come and collaborate. So we have individuals from every aspect of our community that have spent quite a bit of time. So far we've completed the first two phases and getting all the information together in terms of how we can improve our community. The nice thing about Innovation Gainesville, it includes everyone. We're really focusing on our health and human sciences and we're also looking at green technology. The area that we live in has more assets per capita than any area, certainly in Florida and in most, most sections uh, of the country. Those assets include an environment unlike any other, no pollution to speak of, and we will not have industries or support industries that, that pollute this area. Uh, this great university uh, that we have with all the research that's coming off, that's building businesses and then jobs, is a great asset to this area. The medical complex that we have, including North Florida, the Veterans Hospital, and certainly the university now, one of eight universities in the country that have the combination of clinical research and practice on one roof. That is a tremendous asset from which research will come and then jobs will be created. The plan. The plan is to build on all those assets that Jackson talked about and all the breadth of knowledge we have in this area to put together that knowledge, to connect that knowledge together into a collaboration laboratory. And the goal of this collaboration laboratory, or collaboratory as we call it, is to build and recruit innovative companies to our area. And what innovation can mean to Gainesville is we have the breadth of knowledge here, we have a high quality of life, all those assets that Jackson talked about are what innovative companies are looking for. In health technologies, there's over 40 companies in this area building new products to treat human disease. In green technologies, we have numerous environmental services com uh, companies, and our local government is the only government in the nation that provides a solar feed-in tariff, thus being, making us very attractive for green technologies. emphasis a little bit. Economic development is basically three leg, a three-legged stool. You can grow and expand your current companies, you can recruit companies into the area, or you can build new companies. And I think we're shifting the focus a little bit to building new companies because we have this wealth of resources here, and we're also going to make sure that we're recruiting companies that match that innovation theme that we have and are building on a knowledge economy where more people can have high-value jobs.